Well, joining me now uh, for more from Washington, D.C., is Omar Samad. He is a former Afghan diplomat. Thanks so much uh, for taking the time to speak to us at TRT World. Uh, what do you make of uh, these reports now that Daesh has claimed responsibility for this attack? Does that surprise you? Well, this particular, these particular attacks um, should not surprise anyone because uh, everyone has been talking about the possibility of an ISK attack or uh, affiliates uh, in and around Kabul and uh, in, in and around the airport. Uh, the Americans have been talking about it. The Taliban have warned about it. Uh, what is very surprising is that uh, these attacks actually took place that uh, outside in the city where the Taliban claim to have control, they were they have been unable to uh, spot and identify and, and, and stop these attackers. And we're talking about one plus two. And according to what General McKenzie said, there were others who started firing. So we are talking about at least more than two individuals involved at this point. How did they get through these checkpoints is a huge question for the Taliban. And then uh, how did they get close to the American gate? Uh, it's also uh, obviously a question that uh, the Americans and others have to uh, uh, answer. It's very tragic. It's unfortunate. Uh, and it shows that um, there, is, uh, there are gaps and lapses in uh, the security in and around the airport and in the city. And the fact that more than 60 Afghans died, uh, besides the 12 Americans, so far accounted for um, is, uh, is, is a bad signal. I mean, this is worrying, isn't it, then, that the Taliban doesn't appear to have a handle on security um, around the airport and, and possibly it doesn't have as much control as it would like to think around the country? Well, I, I'm not talking about the country right now. I think the country um, is a different story. But we are talking about Kabul, like a city of six million. We're talking about uh, the Taliban uh, trying to uh, and claiming that they are bringing security to Kabul uh, uh, and they have checkpoints all over, especially going to the airport. Uh, let's focus on this particular uh, attack, uh, which shouldn't have happened, in my opinion, should have been uh, prevented uh, given the circumstances. And uh, they need to, to do a thorough investigation of this so it doesn't happen again. Um, how do you think the attack could have been uh, prevented? I mean, General McKenzie sa there said, um, you know, unless the U.S. takes full control of security inside and outside the airport, then attacks like this were always going to be a threat. As I said, uh, the, the Taliban have responsibility for security outside of the airport at this point. So they, uh, uh, they have to do much more. Uh, they, uh, we, we don't know exactly what is going on. There are reports of more explosions in Kabul. Um, so this may be all uh, part of a complex attack by ISK and affiliates. Uh, you have to understand, this is, a, the, 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 a, this is the greatest opportunity for spoilers to enter into this environment and try to spoil the situation both for the Americans and for the Afghans and kill as many people and make it look like uh, this is uh, more of a chaotic situation than it already is. So uh, I, I think that we need to really watch very carefully what the different spoilers uh, uh, are, are and are able to do. Yeah, I mean, groups like this um, are likely to take advantage, I guess, of any vacuum that the US withdrawal uh, will leave. Is your concern about security in the country after this August 31st withdrawal? There has been uh, fighting for a long time in Afghanistan. It's not like uh, there were no attacks in Kabul or Afghanistan before the Taliban came in. There have been a lot of attacks by different groups, including Taliban and others in Afghanistan. So the situation overall um, has been bad. It's not like it was good and now it's bad. So let's put things in perspective. Uh, but I think this shows that after August 31st, as you said, um, the Taliban will be in control uh, and responsible for all security in Afghanistan, except for areas where, uh, where there is a, a pushback on the Taliban, especially in the Panjshir Valley. But for now, I think that uh, they have to understand that uh, being an insurgent group is one thing, being a law and order force is another thing, and governing is obviously something much more complex. And so 
let's hope that they, they learn and that they engage other Afghans uh, in helping them because spoilers are the ones that are going to try to take advantage of the situation. Okay, Omar Samad, former Afghan diplomat, thank you for joining us uh, on the programme.